TMZ Live. So the Miss USA pageant goes down, and of course, everyone is talking about Miss Utah and her big screw up of the question that she was asked. But let's talk. We should talk about the real the winner. winner. Yeah. Yes, Miss USA, the newly crowned Miss USA, Erin Brady, who, by the way, should be applauded just as much as you know Marissa Powell was uh, made fun of for her answer. Erin Brady she nailed was. her she question. She nailed it, yeah. And, uh, and sailed right through, and she is now the new Miss USA, and she joins us now. She's in New York City, and Erin, uh, welcome to TMZ Live. Will she have the crown on? That's what I'm wondering. Yeah, yes. yes. we got the crown. All right. Hi. Is that, do you, does that basically just That's been on crown, your head girl. since Sunday? <laughs> I've been sleeping next to it <laughs> and looking at it and staring at it and... Hey, what's Today I took a little bit of a break, but I'm finishing my day off with the crown. Nice. Are those, uh, by the way, I'm, you know, I don't have a lot of experience in beauty pageants. Neither of us do, obviously. Yep. Uh, is that real? Are those jewels up there? What, what, is, what is in your tiara? Yes, it's emeralds and diamonds, actually. Oh, all right, impressive. So, all right, Erin. So, uh, obviously, the big story that came out of the pageant, the thing that everybody was talking about, was uh, Miss Utah, Marissa Powell, and her... How do I say uh, her? Well, she screwed up the answer, all right? She got really nervous uh, and sort of tried to fake her way through an answer. She says this was nerves. Now, you have a lot of experience in these pageants. Do you understand what she's talking about? Has this ever happened to you? Absolutely. I mean, I don't think in pageants it hasn't happened to me, but every day in life, whether you're giving <laughs> a speech to a friend or to somebody else, nerves get the best of you. And I think especially in this situation, you're in front of millions of people and you're getting asked a question that you may not feel comfortable answering. And I feel for her because we are all, are, we are all in her shoes. We're all getting a controversial question, something that may make us a little bit uncomfortable in answering. But I think she's gonna finish out strong. I mean, despite everything, pageant girls are strong, so she's gonna be okay after all is said and done. So you raise, that's a great point, Erin. Like, why even ask you guys these questions? You're right, they're, oftentimes they're very, they're hot button issues. Um, why ask beauty contestants in, in a pageant like this about, why are you guys having to deal with these questions? Isn't this pageant really, I mean, it's called a beauty pageant. Mm -hmm. I agree, um, but also it's it's very important that people understand that they're looking for an educated businesswoman as well. Somebody that's well-spoken, that can handle an answer under pressure. And I think asking a question like that really makes you have to think through it and figure it out in your head and get ready for questions that could come your way in day-to-day -day life. So I agree, sometimes the questions may be a bit hard, but you're representing the USA and they want you to be responsible and up to date with events that are happening all over the country. So Erin, what do you think about the inequality of pay uh, for women in the workplace? <laughs> Well, of course, I'm a woman. I work in a corporate office, so I disagree with it. Unfortunately, I think it's something that over time hopefully will change. I think more so than ever today, we have really powerful female role models that are obtaining really high-end positions. You know, we have people that are okay, CFOs. You, you convinced us, Aaron. Charles, you, you, you convinced us. You nailed, you nailed it. You, you had a good answer. That already, beat, that. That already beat Miss Utah by a mile. So, uh, <laughs> So tell, actually, what are you, uh, you said you, you work at a corporation. Uh, what's, what's next now that I, I imagine you're not going back to your nine to five? Correct. I was a, previously, I was a financial accountant as of Sunday, and then Sunday night I became Miss USA. So um, we're going to put that on hold for now, see what happens. Aaron, can I ask you a question? This is Mike. Uh, you have a fiance, correct? I do. Is that very common? I know the reason I ask is I'm married, and I, I just, when we see beauty pageants, we think, single women for some reason i well, feel like in the miss up. usa they have to be single right they right. have to so be I, I just, I, not I, married I, that was just shocking to me a little bit but how does he feel about all this and is it has that been um a hindrance to you or helpful just I, you know i think what's great about it is i i think i'm a good example that you can have it all that you can have a supportive um a supportive spouse and you can have great people in your life that want the best for you i think right now it's my time to shine and my focus is really you know taking the bull by the horns and enjoying every last minute of being miss usa for the year and he's 110 percent behind me okay. um he's ecstatic you know He's, he's with Miss USA, and I just can't <laughs> wait for everything that's to come, and I'm really blessed with the opportunity.
I think you're going to be uh, you're going to be congratulations. You're going to be great. Thank you so if much. If you ever out on the West Coast, uh, let us know. Stop by. Thank you. We have lots of beauty uh, beauty contestants and beauty like queens who come through here. Wonderful. No, we don't. Well, thank you for having me. We don't actually. So please <laughs> like be the me. first. <laughs> All right, uh, we are going to move. Boy, she really <laughs> nailed that question. Yeah, I know. I was waiting. I, I was thinking like she would just trip up just a little bit. Man. She was good. All right.